Good morning, morning. Good morning, morning. Good morning and welcome back to the morning show on Tobago Updates Television. It's now 7.49, so if you're making it to work for 8 a.m., you have just about 11 minutes, remember, to be safe on the nation's roads. This is 2024 and we're just at the very beginning, so only good news is what we're looking for. Speaking about that, we are we have in studio right now and we're going to have conversations with Bishop Terence Baines. Yes, and he is the Bishop of Victory Place International Tobago and we are fully aware of the crime situation taking place in Trinidad and Tobago specifically in Tobago and we're talking about 911 emergency prayer for Tobago it's very needed in a time like this good morning Ms. Uh, Bishop Baines and welcome good morning to you and good morning to all our viewers and again thank you so much to the management of Tobago updates for affording uh, me this opportunity in this capacity um, all of us are cognizant of what is taking place nationwide um, particularly in the Tobago context, um, we are all very, 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 very concerned. In the when in the other hat that I wear, as as a member of the executive, we have met. The chief secretary has been appraising us, and all of us have been given the responsibility to up, uh, shall I say, to optimize the services that we deliver in the various uh, divisions that can assist with providing um, the kind of support in the society, uh, providing options for our people. Um, for us in the division of youth and sport especially, we have been on a program to upgrade all the sporting facilities in and around the island because we believe that sport is an alternative and can get some persons uh, engage in activity that is not nefarious um, and at the division of community development uh, we, we, we are working on some other community programs um, which we have to now accelerate because of the situation you know normally community development will have these programs that we do through the year and so on but we now have to bring them front and center because of the present situation that we are facing so i'm saying that to say that from a governmental level uh we have all been uh brought and appraised of of what is taking place the urgency of the activities uh from from the standpoint of the government and in my capacity now as a pastor and as a as a bishop and so on i was actually driving down the highway um, i believe it was friday when i heard about a, a shooting that took place in the, in the city i believe um not too far from here I had actually planned to do something like this a little later on in the year, in a on, a on a larger scale and so on. But with with that news, with those you know, with the, with the news, then I just felt it was necessary to to bring this thing front and center and to do it now. Yes, you understand. Um, perhaps a life can be saved. Perhaps somebody can make a different decision from an activity like this. So I started calling several of my uh, colleagues in the pastoral fraternity around the island, um, asking them if they will come and join, you know, without ample notice, of mm -hmm. course, you know, and everybody that I have spoken to thus far have agreed for us to come and treat this as a 911 issue. You understand? Um, the church has its role to play um not just prayer and we have to make that point not just prayer um so i am going to take the opportunity as well to inform my colleagues that are there of some of the things that we are doing as a government so that they can that can be a part of on their prayer list in their various churches from time to time and also to encourage them in their work you understand i know that People like to demonize the church I and I have a serious problem with it you know I know this issue of prayer because I suspect of the utterances of the 
police commission and so on and the context of those operations i find that some people are trying to cast some aspersions on prayer itself which is 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 is, is depressing and frustrating and 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 and, and, and you know it's, it's it's sad that 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 it comes to that but the point is that prayer has always been a useful tool in the society you talk to people individually and you talk to people collectively who know how to pray and have used prayer as it is supposed to be used from a biblical standpoint they will tell you you can argue that away about what prayer does That's for right. people a man with an experience is never at the mercy of a man with an opinion that's right and i am convinced because i've seen prayer work in my own life for the past 35 years i've seen prayer work for us as a church i've seen prayer work in the society and in the community so prayer has its place and so what we are coming to do on sunday afternoon from 5 p.m at the scarborough esplanade is to pray about tobago specifically specifically right and um, different leaders would be given different areas and so on to pray and, and so on. And, and it's going to be a prayer service pretty much, you understand? And nothing is cast in stone when I say that we have flexibility in Jesus' name. That's and we're right. going to, you know, we're going to pray. We're going to pray about, of course, we're going to pray for our leadership in the government. We're going to pray for for the, the minority councillors, uh, minority bench rather. We're going to pray about the economies of the economy of tobago we're going to pray about our young people we're going to pray about family we're going to pray about the health of the society we're going to pray for people who come there and may be sick and afflicted we're going to pray for them as well we're going to pray for people with special we're going to just have a prayer, of prayer. session yes on 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 Sunday. what i like about this whole event mm -hmm. this pray our life supposed to be about prayer yes that's the foundation of our existence. It keeps us in a good place. Mm -hmm. It keeps you in, in a, a peace of mind. Mm -hmm. And I think when you have a peace of mind and a, that kind of solace on the inside of you, you don't have time for criminal mm -hmm. behavior. Mm -hmm. What I like about your position as an assemblyman and as a bishop is that prayer is very important, but you're also taking action in terms of actionable sure, steps. Sure, sure, what am sure. I doing? I have prayed. Yeah. and my faith is knowing god but i too have to do sure, something sure, and sure. so the programs and the projects that we're talking about they're going to be sealed in prayer sure indeed the, the other thing i like about this is the corporate sure sure buying sure, sure and 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 i mean like i said earlier the churches around the island of tobago in these churches are people from all walks of life are people that have had different circumstances and have come to embrace uh, a life of, of 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 christianity and so on that means if this if there was no church right these people all of us could have been added to the problem that That's we right. are facing in this society in the in in the walls of these churches are young men and young women that are ex this and ex that mm -hmm. you know or young women that have that could have been drafted into nefarious activity because they didn't have this type of spiritual connection so we have to celebrate the fact that there are institutions as the church that is doing its work in society can the church do more certainly but we must not demonize the church as some people do and say well the church don't do nothing and the church only collecting tithes i hate it i hate to hear people make these statements because it is untrue and it is misguided the church is doing its work what we are doing is to encourage the church and church leaders to continue with the work and i believe with the more information that they have they can be more sensitive in the execution of their duties and so that is what I think that we, we will be doing on Sunday as well, just to encourage the leaders and to give them some information about what is taking place on this landscape that we call Tobago. And we really and truly appreciate it. It is needed in this time, especially, I mean, we would remember also that Tobago Updates also had something similar to this on the 1st of January where um, other clergymen came together yes. to lift up the nation. Yes. So we have to continue in this vein of praying, praying, sure. Sure. answers, questions, it changes situations. Yes. 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 There is power in prayer 
the word of God says that life and death is in your tongue. So what you speak is what happens. It might not happen immediately, but trust me, it takes root. I too am a believer. I too am a believer and I know the power of prayer. And so Bishop Baines, I want to, you know, I really want to commend you and I commend all the leaders who are coming out to pray. And this is not just for church leaders. We are all invited sure, to come sure, out together, sure, to sure, band sure, together sure. in a time of prayer for our our nation our communities yes. this is about tobago this is about me this is about you this is about your mother your father your children your schools your teachers it is about all of us it is about your home your finances it is it affects every area of our lives so i want to join with bishop beans this morning to encourage all of us to come on this sunday 5 p.m at the esplanade as we join together and we approach the situations in tobago that is causing us to be at on at unrest and unease yes. we want to live comfortably we Indeed. want to live Indeed. peaceably we Indeed. want to enjoy our lives here in tobago safely we want to do that and so we've done all the other groundwork and now we're heading to the place of prayer Indeed. and we're calling on the power of god to seal all of our plans and our intentions Indeed. as we head forward into 2024 and Indeed. even beyond not just sunday only yes this is a public event on sunday but let us make prayer a part of our daily lives let us make prayer an integral part of who we are i start to sound like a bishop now yeah, well, but i'm telling you i'm <laughs> telling you that i know the effect and yes. the impact of prayer yes. in my own life as yes. well i've seen prayer listen when i look at the testimonies of the prayers that i have prayed bishop beans mm -hmm. i am telling you that i am like wow this is an awesome thing so i yes. thank you for that yes. Yes. ladies and gentlemen we're asking you to come out come Indeed. out and support Indeed. this come Indeed. out and lift your voice in prayer and praise mm -hmm. as we ask god to intervene on the situation that Indeed. is taking place here Indeed. in tobago Indeed. we thank you so much yes uh, bishop beans of course yes, for sharing this yes, information yes, with yes, us yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of the morning show but our programming continues as we move on over to gmt and of course before we go we ask you to share the live share the live share the live